Hello and welcome to another session with me, Sanyukta Saxena. I am a certified Zentangle teacher and today we will be learning another new Zentangle original pattern which is called Radox, right? So Radox is a pattern which you will find very familiar, uh, right? Because we have drawn many such patterns or similar patterns or patterns which have a similar grid like static or like jungle, right? Right? So many patterns. Uh, so it is uh, not exactly something very new but yes again patterns which look very simple in Zentangle provide you a lot of opportunity to shade right so as we learn the pattern you will realize that although it is a very simple pattern but it has a lot of dimension when shaded right so <clears throat> let's get started and learn the basic pattern first and then she'll, we shall draw a tile together as we always do right so Radox is a pattern which uh, is drawn in a zigzag fashion. Many patterns like static and other patterns we have learnt which are drawn in the same fashion like ing or other patterns, right? So I have drawn here a zigzag line and then I am again going to aura it. Right, and then again I'm going to draw another aura but at a distance like this. Again add a close aura like this. Again draw another line. So it's basically aura based, right? And one stroke which is the line. And then in alternate sections, if I add one more here, probably you will be able to understand better. Right? So, one section, I will just add lines. Straight lines. Again, this is how the pattern goes originally, however, you can replace state lines with any other thing, right? But if you keep it like this, then you can identify clearly that it is the pattern radox. However, there is always a room for tangation and variation and you can add something else instead of the lines, right? Use the same grid but add something else, yeah? Right, so I'm going to leave, I did that line work in one section. Again, leave one section and then do the same thing in the next section so alternate sections line work and in between I'll just place some orbs and that's all the pattern radox as far as drawing part is concerned right so mostly line based angle single stroke however once you start to play around it is entirely up to you how do you want to go about but certain patterns I realize that since they are very simple, they look nice if you keep it simple. As you introduce some variations, they just get lost and start looking like something else, right? And this section we generally add some orbs like this, right? So you can again play with the orbs, add something else. I'll show you a few tiles to give that idea. However, the original pattern has these orbs which you can comfortably ink or leave it like this only. Right? So that's simpler pattern. So is it to be drawn in this fashion only? No, you can accommodate it in any kind of a grid, right? So you can draw it here in this way. These lines are not drawn, that to be drawn with pencil, but you can always draw it this way, right? Like this. Probably today we will draw it in this fashion only, right? So it doesn't matter what kind of a grid it is, you can draw it in any fashion, right? Zigzag lines can be accommodated in any kind of a space. So again, <coughs> we generally shade high and low, right? So these peaks, you can shade on that line. Add some graphite there. Right, so <clears throat> generally that portion is high 
highlighted or gray is added so that it looks like a fold there right and the other section is highlighted with a chalk pencil so they look like folds and a beautiful third dimension comes up right you can add some graphite here also right and then pick up your chalk pencil and just add a highlight in the other section and you get this nice folded kind of look here yeah <coughs> so that's the tangled pattern radox i'll show you a few tiles where you can see that i've played around with it change few things here and there but more or less the shading remains the same right and it looks nice this way yeah <clears throat> so this is a simple tile where one section is radox you can see instead of plain lines i have added bold lines right looks like knight's bridge here and then this is the tangle hollis with some mocha inside it right so simple tile but you can see how you know dramatic the radox looks like again this is a gray tile that i posted as a teaser you can see radox here with mocha and some fragment right so <clears throat> again simple tangle but has a very uh, eye catching look right it's very dramatic this is beeline and this is radox right with sub indirella <clears throat> this is i drew recently posted this morning right this is from jo joan kohl's uh, version of these small gems right <laughs> looks really nice so again radox arranged as a star or you can see the arrangement here this is also not plain lines this is bold lines plain line bold lines plain line alternating it right so you can uh, just play with the arrangement just play with the spaces inside right and then explore more so today we'll draw a simple uh, tile using the pattern radox right i'll just draw uh, a grid kind of a pencil reference here right something like this for my radox it's pretty light right just for reference and i'm sorry i'm going to introduce my radox now <coughs> so just start like this right and just add an aura you can add something in the aura also right this section so if you want to play around there are so many possibilities so just explore probably we will do that in this style right since we have not done it just add some lines inside these zigzag auras so simple pattern line based gives a nice 3d effect on shading yeah and now let us first add those lines so let's add a little fun factor here and add a little weight to the lines at the beginning and at the end something like this yeah small little things that you can do or you can press it a little hard as you start and you as you end right so that will come automatically whichever way you want to go about it you can also add some highlights right <coughs> so now i'm just going to add simple orbs i like it that way 
just adding a little weight on one side of the orb you can also add black pearls if you want looks really nice I had done that on the grey tile you can see how beautiful it looks like on your radox right so nice way to embellish your radox is the black pearls Right, you can add one more line in between. Right, so just going to go on like this. yeah so I'll again do that exercise so adding the orbs in the last section right and then some hidden lines yeah that simple a pattern to draw right now let us introduce one or two more tangles so I'm going to probably use a mix of patterns probably hollowbog right and uh, a pattern called uh, what is it called yeah yeah the pattern is called spoolies i'm sorry and uh, we have used that pattern earlier also right so just a small little embellishment here that's it right so let us now draw a pattern called spoolies right it goes just like sand swirl sand swirl is also another pattern which is drawn similar to the pattern spoolies right so i'm going to start from the same point and aura this fescue shape that i have drawn like this right so you can add as many auras as you wish like this and you can add some hidden ones here yeah so I'm just going to randomly add a few of these on both sides of my radox and then we'll see if we want to add anything else so take your time go slowly draw a fescue and then add auras to it aura starting from the same point the only difference between this and sand swirl is the auras here do not join in sand swirl right each aura is separate they start separately Again, adding auras. Right, so just see for yourself how do how many do you want to add, right? Then from here. So I'm purposely leaving spaces between in between and we'll probably insert another pattern right in between instead of inking it completely probably we'll 
if the spaces are considerable we can add some other pattern also right so first we will draw these pulleys So this pattern is real fun to draw, real meditation, just concentrate on each stroke, order the fescue, repeat the strokes, draw each stroke deliberately with full focus and attention and you will see the magic, right? Yeah. Another one here, just adding randomly, not thinking much what, where. right so probably one more hidden here yeah so i'll insert a pattern hollow bog in between them so i'm just going to connect these add probably one more line with these random lines which we draw in hollow bog with a small little variation so I am adding one additional line under the second line that's the only difference right So again, drawing in a random fashion, not thinking much where, what. Just using the spaces that I have in between my spoolies. To insert another pattern called Holobog. Right, so... Once we have done that, then probably we will ink the rest of the spaces which are still left after adding the hollow bog, right? So that would be fun. So small little hidden ones. Yeah. So now let us ink the rest of the spaces. Left after inserting our hollow bog. So take your time, enjoy the process of inking. Go slow. Right. So I'll just in these sections and come back in as a fee. So I'm just inking the last section here. And you can see how inked portions add that much required boldness to your tile. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one section of our tile. So you can do the same thing on the other side or you can do something else. Right. So I think I will go with the same thing because I'm like liking it. So I'll just 
add some more spoolies here right if you want you can add something else entirely up to you so go slow one stroke at a time take it easy if the curls are not proper they are going haywire that's okay no issues no mistakes all looks good in zentangle just in case you have still not taken my beginners course please go to udemy.com and find me there sanyukta saxena and pick up the basic course it will really help you start with your practice in case you are a beginner or even if you have been tangling for some time but have never taken a beginners course it will help you <coughs> right so do consider taking the course udemy courses are mostly on offer so you might want want to buy right so adding some more of these pulleys having fun with them i think this much is enough for this space and now going back to my hollow box so just enjoy and if you wish to insert some other pattern here please feel to do that our focus pattern is radox which now we are going to shade right so <coughs> rest of the patterns just choose pattern your go to tangles and complete the tile right so <clears throat> even if it goes inside it's always a good idea the tangles kind of morphing into each other right so i'm now going to ink the rest of the section just like i did on the other side you can add tipple you can add any other pattern in between your holly box also but as i mentioned earlier also some inking always add to the look of the tile right so do consider one or two drama tangles or some inking in your tile to add that much required zen right so we have finished tangling here let us now move on to shading yeah so radox as i mentioned always a good idea to highlight the troughs and at these peaks you can add some graphite so that this slanting portion recedes yeah <coughs> I'm just going to blend it nice and simple pattern to draw
can also be add bead lines here instead of simple lines here yeah? which is add some dots on the lines so they look like bead lines and they will add to the beauty of the tangle yeah small little things that you can do to the plain lines also right so we have done that <coughs> And to add a little more graphite here. Yeah. And now the spoolies, good idea to highlight the place where lines are going under and from where lines are emanating yeah two places if there are overlaps you can highlight the overlaps also I don't see many overlaps here so just adding graphite at the beginning and where lines look like going under And hollow bob the way we usually do the intersections is always a good idea but add just a little so that you don't turn the entire thing gray just a touch right not much don't blend much yeah I think we are done what is there on your top lawn is sufficient as far as these holly bog are concerned because they are pretty delicate looking yeah can you see the dimension that shading adds So take that time and make that effort to shade each tangle and you'll see the result yourself. They actually start to breathe, they start floating on the surface of your tile. So much fun to shade. And now the hollow bog, just little touch of graphite because you don't want too much of grays. Yeah, that should be sufficient. Just blend it so that it doesn't look patchy. That's about it. Yeah. So let us now pick up our chalk <coughs> and highlight the white section of our adox a little more. It is already white, but white chalk will enhance it a little more. Right. Use another tortillon to just brush off the excess. You can also add some chalk on these if you want a little highlight on the spoolies where you have not added any graphite.
this is optional you want to do it you don't want to do it yeah so simple pattern that's our tile for today so let us add a little small thing here I'm going to add some weight to the second line here right so I'm using my 08 highlighting the second line a little bit more adding some weight redoing my first line but adding some weight to the second good idea to revisit lines after you have completed your tangling and shading So I'm using a boulder pen you can use the same or one and do this exercise That's about it. I think we are done. So another way to shade your radox is to add graphite under this. Right here. So we don't need to because the lines are already bold. I have just touched a few places. I don't want to add much the white should look white yeah so that's about it and we don't need to need do anything else I'm going to close here my tile here add my chop where probably here yeah, sign and date my tile. Today is yeah. So I'll see you again with another Zentangle original. Till then, have a good time. Stay safe. Bye bye.